If you struggle with anxiety and get very intense physical symptoms, but the doctor just disregards you and says it's not real, this video is for you. So when you're experiencing anxiety, you can experience very physical symptoms. The physical symptoms are so intense that they can often mimic real life like medical issues, right? So there can be an array of symptoms from dizziness, nausea, um, digestive issues in general, uh, vision changes, auditory changes, you may get some brain fog. There's so many, literally any and every symptom can be classified as anxiety. But you may notice if you go to the doctor, they just disregard you. And it's very easy to think, man, this doctor just doesn't care. He's not a good doctor. She's not a good doctor. And then you go to another doctor and then you realize, oh my God, it's the same thing. And they just don't seem to care. And you often feel neglected. Well, it's really easy to think that, oh my God, they're just saying I'm making this up. This is all in my head. Well, here's the thing. What you're feeling is extremely real. It's 100% real. However, you have to understand going to a doctor isn't about feelings. It's about more about identifying, is there a medical cause for why you're feeling this way? Now, this is really hard to grasp because we used to think, we typically think anxiety is just mental, right? It's just something that goes through your head. But this whole mind-body split doesn't really exist. The truth is, is that anxiety is not just physical, it's not just mental, it's about survival. So because of that, well, you're feeling symptoms that are very real, that are 100% real and they're definitely there. However, what the doctor is really saying is there's no physiological cause. There's no pathological cause that's causing this, meaning there's no disease, there's no abnormality, there's no anatomical or, or um, physiological reason for why this is happening. This is why doctors are quick to neglect because they have patients that actually do have conditions. They have people that where there is something physically wrong. And so part of the issue with getting anxiety resolved is really identifying that once you've gotten clean bill of health, anxiety is not a medical issue. Fundamentally, what anxiety really is to its core is that your intelligence has worked against you. Your anxiety, your survival state, your fight or flight response has totally lost what's a real threat and what's not, and as a consequence, has made everything a threat. And so because everything is a threat, you're now experiencing physical symptoms. Now you're thinking what if situations, because that's what anxiety is supposed to do. It's supposed to make you think of worst case scenarios. Now what happens is that the cycle keeps going and you're experiencing symptoms even when there's no threat. To learn more about how to overcome this, follow me.